Lord. Good evening, everyone. I'm Arcas, and welcome to the wrong room. We're playing more Paper Mario. I don't know why I'm doing that. That Cooper's on the other side of the barrier. Crazy Cooper. All right, we uh, we got to the start of Mount Rugged. We got backwards to the start of Mount Rugged. We also have Cooper as a new party member and uh, a bunch of items and badges that we technically can't use most of right now. Especially stuff for dry dry ruins. And some letters that we can't use because we don't have power carry. We did meet power carry, but he gave us an item instead of himself. So, yeah. Let's <laughs> find him on the overworld. I'll point out we got Cooper, but not Cooper Shell. <laughs> Super Shell is an item in this game as well. All right, here we go, train ride. I'm gonna skip that. Did we just break through the rock? <laughs> turn down, turn down. We did. To be fair, if it hadn't broken, we'd just like uh, pa pass through it. I could have easily broke it with uh, Bombette, who we started with. But you should know by now, because you should have watched the first episode. Did you watch the first episode? You better have. Anyway, uh, I have. Oh, I can't. I can't give the lowest twenty-one. I don't have. I don't have power carry. Okay. Uh. Okay, something important right here. Well, not that important right now, but uh, I'll just open it. Not important right now, but I, I opened it. Uh, I don't know if this is going. I think I got to slow down there. I'll be in the tree. Oh, I forgot I can spin. Right, right, right. Gotta remember to spin. Gotta remember to spin. Oh, here's another, here's another item for us. I got a coin. Gave me a coin. Gave me a coin. He gave me a friggin' coin. Why would you do that? Let's go this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, can, we can do the bow. We can actually do the uh, bow. The bow quest. The mansion now, if we wanted to, if we can get the right items for it. Uh, I just came this way to activate that, whatnot. Be in that tree. Can't reach that tree. All right. Uh, let's continue on with this way. So we can get Rip Cheeto. Chip Rito. Dang. Oh! I see you there. We get another quiz. Try the quiz. Go to the question. I mean, have I saved? On, but we'll go seven. <laughs> okay. That was not correct. I haven't saved a single one yet. I think I'm supposed to get that question at the end of the game. After having saved all the star spirit. Something tells me <laughs> that's when I'm supposed to have it. Okay, we have two limes. This is... Deliver it to Koopa Coot. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. A letter and another letter. We can immediately do the Merlin one. So I'll take that. I'll leave the rest for now until we can go to those arrows. Until we go to those arrows. Oh, we can't talk to him. We can only buy stuff from him. We can't do anything else with him. 
What's our uh, current item capacity? We are 7 out of 12. That's fine. What's in this door? Nothing important. We don't have bow, so we can't do, uh... We can't do the toy box yet. Boys, we could. I could have left it so we could still use the abilities, but I was like, nah. Let's do this naturally. Alright, there's an item box up here that is um, supposed to be full of coins. But we'll see what it actually looks like. It's full of coins still. Okay, this one didn't change. Uh, we also can't do anything color on this hill already, even though he was in the other place. Can't do anything with this. Oh, can we not? Oh, I can do that? A huge tuna! I didn't jump, dude. Uh, not right now, though. That's a boss fight. I don't want to do the boss fight yet. We won't be able to do anything in that fight either. We can't help him. However, we do want to go to this person. No, not this person. This one. It's going to supposed to give us a... Take this, uh, uh, take this star piece and go, uh, yeah, not quite what they wanted me to have, really, was it? That's quite loud. Alright, that's everything in that direction. I could go fight the blooper now. Well, I don't have any partners that can hit it. Uh, so, no. <laughs> Okay, this is another area we're gonna go to. Uh, I don't have any seeds for you. Okay, we're going here. We have a key. It's not gonna be important until later. Star piece and a power block. I'm gonna grab the star piece. And then we'll see what he's got next time. I got a deluxe feast. We gotta put that away in the box. Watch the timing. Oh yeah, duh. Oh yeah, I can't deliver the letter to him because I don't have power carry. But I can go around that thing if I want to, which will bring me back to Merlin's house. But I can't jump, so it's kind of useless. No useless information. There's also a lot of places we can go now. Third town is the central hub, so getting back here was very useful. Let's go to this. Uh, I didn't want to talk to you. No, I didn't want to talk to you. Stop making me talk to you. Okay, what's he got? Oh my god, he's got some good stuff. We got an Ultra Shroom! 95, jeez, that's pricey. Although, Volt Shroom is cheap. We actually can use Volt Shroom to beat the enemy inside the whale. I mean, I mean, Tuna. <laughs> Open the locked door on the Cooper Bros Fortress, so we can go to Cooper Bros Fortress and just, like, do that. They got, like, two keys for it already. Power up defense down. That might be useful for powering us up a bit and doing some extra damage. Another letter. One for Little Mauser in the Dry Dry Outpost shop. Yeah, sure. 
I might as well grab all the lows. I'm going to grab the fortress key because I might end up having to use it. Oh, should I have the power up D down badge? Let enemies do more damage to me, but I'd also do more damage to them. Which, uh, with my jump, would do, make, allow me to do four damage per turn. Which actually is quite useful, actually. I'm going to take it. I don't know if I can use it. I can. Interesting. Excessive power. I can even have repel gel, so I can't get hit. Alright, let's, uh... I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to buy. I need to check the deluxe feast. And I want to claim the coconut. Eight out of twelve. Oh, that's a red berry. Okay, we can't get in there by a shot guy. I don't think it's gonna matter though. Let's go see our let's go see our brother, Luigi. He's blue! <laughs> like water, Luigi. I never got him back here, so I don't even know why I bother checking. Alright, we got our stats here. Oh my god, they've already given us all the letters. Wait, wait, can we get stuff from the letters? No, we don't. We don't get stuff from the letters. Alright, so we just automatically have all the letters. Okay. Uh, that's back towards the Goomba household. We don't want to do that yet. We have got everything we get from here. If we had sushi, we could have done that. Look at my power. I can knock him over each turn. Yeah, okay, badges. Take the HP plus off. And we're going to increase our power. Uh, and set up close call. Do this. So he's gonna fight us first. Okay, we're gonna jump on him. And we do two damage to him each turn. I actually want bomb at. He's gonna he's just gonna use his turn to stand up. I'm gonna get to get to do that once. Plus all that experience is nice. Because it's very close to a level. We got a Thunder Rage! For our troubles. Yes, that's actually a pretty good item to have. I 
what I'm gonna do. Push my badges back to HP plus. Or I didn't grab the other badge. We go back to down this end now. Find out what's at the end of all of this. Uh, first, let's go up here. I believe there is. Of course, it's a coin! It's always a coin! It's always a coin. Okay, let's see what we're trading our star pieces for. You can get anything really useful. Oh, you're red. That's a nice color on you. A letter to Mort T for getting five. A shroom steak for Ted. The fan plus is nice. Combine it with the current bash, not do anything. Can have nothing to do anything. Okay. There's this, these are some really interesting. Uh... We have seven star pieces, so we could get the first reward. The Mario's in peril, his attack power goes up. Coin. A frank electrical coin! Wow. Ah! Damage through enemy's defenses. That actually sounds pretty good. Might go with that. We got dizzy attack. Oh! I do a lot of spinning. FP plus, we do need more FP. I'm gonna get dizzy attack. And I'm gonna get D down jump. And we got a letter on top of that. I'm gonna grab the Mega Rush too. Until the next reward. Okay, we got quite a few badges out of that. Including a D down p jump and a, a Mega Rush and a attack. This attack can be pretty useful if I can get more badges. Get more badge uh, points. This attack's going to make uh, encounters uh, basically to our advantage. If we're spinning, which we pretty much are always spinning. All right, so that's that area done. We actually need to go and fight things now. Uh, there are a couple of areas we can go. Uh, as you saw before, we can go to the uh, Yoshi village if we really want to. I do want to go visit the Goombas though. Plus this is the easiest area to travel through. Oh, I don't think we can. We go to a great. I can't spin for some reason. Diagonal. I don't know why. I can get another item from over here though. Got a star piece. Could have given me that earlier. Oh, okay. They're not really missing it, but okay. We're on the wrong side. Still get a few things from here. All right. We got a power block from that as well. Look at that. We can't get to it. We're on the wrong side. Because you can't actually go this way. 
Now, there was always the, uh... Okay, so we can go to the Cooperverse Fortress, we can go to Yoshi's Island, or we can go back to the desert. Or the mountains, we can go to the mountains. Oh, we can't go back to the desert. Yes, we can. We can teleport back. Um, oh, we can do the mountain area if we need to. Personally, though, I think we should do it in order of uh, the actual supposed difficulty of the game. Oh, we can also do the forest as well, but we, we can only get as far as Bruce Mansion. I don't know if we'll get any further. It's all about gathering items. I think we want to do this side first. The one we're most likely going to progress on. However, we will need to pay money to do this one. Because there's a guy blocking the road that we're not going to be able to defeat in the fight. Uh, also, I need to get my health back. But do we want to save that for later then? You might want to save that for later, actually. There's no way I can beat it. Oh, actually, I've got the down power. No, because he's going to hit me for 10 each time. Uh, can't see Cooper blocks away already. So. So, ironically, it might be best if we did the desert first. Because that uh, dangerous enemy is going to follow us. Uh, yeah, a dangerous enemy, uh, what's his name, Junior Trooper, is going to follow us to the island and back. And he's got a lot of a lot of powers. I don't know if we have counters to yet, so we don't really want to do that either. Because when we get back, we're gonna have trouble. The forest we can do as well. However, on the way back from the forest, he will fight us again. The only place he doesn't actually fight us is... Back in the ruins. Back in the, um... But I've, I've got a lot of them right now. I mean, we may even not even get into the ruins, but we'll be getting a lot of items along the way, and I think that's worth it. I think out of all of them, uh, we might have to pass Kenzie Cooper. I think that's most likely going to be the most uh, progression route we're going to get. But if we can avoid paying him and get to a point where we can actually beat him, that would be great. So here we are back uh, back where we started. We got fired, didn't we? We got a lot of new items though. I don't think any of these bushes are going to be glowing. Yep, they're no longer useful. Ah, but Walker's still going to have... Wait, am I going to get anything from his bump? If not, we might as well leave him alone. I'll go check. No, we can't get anything from Walker's Bump, so don't bother. Alright, don't bother with Walker's Bump. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> when I played on the other one, uh, there was like lots of Thunder Rages in them. I was like, yes. <laughs> but uh, not, not this time, I guess. Alright, there's a few places we can't go, so there really is no point in waking these stones up. We're also going to be going around a bit. Power Rush. Danger. Okay. If I jump. I don't know if I jump your way, it'd be fine. Got past him. I'm not sure if I should uh, stick with HP plus right now. I think I do need the deck, uh, the be down jump. Some 
No, I can't jump on them. They got spikes on their heads. Bin smash might be the way of doing it. Bomb it's explosion. Here we got. There's nothing else here, so I can just ignore that one. It's a Cooper Leaf. How many items have I got already? I've got 12. Too early. Wait. Yeah. It's dead. We have yet to level up. We're still level one. I'm being cautious. Also, now I can get that item without any risks. Got a fright jar. Okay. All right, enemy. All right. Uh, let me just switch to Cooper. Oh God! I didn't think he was gonna keep running. I thought we were out of his range. Ah, here we go. A use for this. <laughs> we get another item from over here. Of course. Can't see what item it is. I can't get over there, so it doesn't matter. A D down pound badge. Oh, that is going to be so much more useful than everything else. D down pound. We're going to be able to hit through the enemy's defense. We're gonna have to take out our heart badge in order to do it though, so thought we're gonna do that for a second. I kinda want this one to increase his attack power when he's in danger. Which he might go into danger soon. I like the one where they fell attack, but let's, let's let's see if we can deal more damage. Uh, let me just... I don't want to bomb at this one. I got him. A D down pound requires two FP. A bomb requires four. So I'm gonna D down pound. Does it cost less? Got a volcano vase. Wait, isn't that for the end of Lava Lava Island? Uh, 
And there's the Koopaloof. Which, uh, huh. Well, we can get as many coconuts as we want, so maybe throw out the coconuts? I think we're gonna throw out the coconut. Alright, and that's all we can explore from there. Now, normally, we can't get back to the desert. I got a safe block. Normally, we can't get back to the desert. But there is a specific item. <clears throat> there is a specific item we have. To prevent that from being an issue. It's called the Homeward Shroom. And as soon as we use it, we will end up back at the place we started. So it's sort of a shortcut to the desert. Uh, we're going to need if we're going to do the desert area. Also, I can do this now. I've spoken to Merlot. Help us eventually. There we go. But tell us about Merlin's house, and then once we get our spin jump, all we have to do is hit that a few times and we get through. Right, I want to put some of these items in here. Uh, let's put the Koopa Leaf in for now. I think I might need that for a quest. Uh, I don't think we need the Thunder Rage yet. Head for the Snowman, though. I don't think we need that yet. I'm gonna install one apple. And one dried fruit, so I don't end up in the action. I don't need. I don't know if I need them for anything, so I'm just gonna keep them as a thing. Got a whole inventory space thing. I'll hold on to the fright jar in case I need to scare enemies away, but I think I'm probably never going to. Uh, depends. All right, we are half an hour in. We are back here. I guess in the next episode we will be combing the desert. I think in the next episode, we're going to be combing the desert for uh, items that we can use or whatnot. We still haven't found the temple entrance uh, key thing, keystone, so we have to get that uh, if we can, if it's even there. Or entrances to any other dungeons or whatnot we can go into. Right now, we think we're hoping for a level up. <laughs> we're almost there. So thanks so much for watching. But for now, we're down here. I'll see you. Da 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 da